welcome back. I know you're probably a little confused right now, but please don't panic. You've just emerged from a very long session in active VR. You've been in that simulation for many, many years. Well, really just a few hours, but you know what I mean. It has felt like many, many years. So I'm here to help you make the transition back from that reality to this one, and maybe debrief you a little bit about what you've just been through. There are some questions I need to ask you as you come back into your body here. However, you're gonna have a hard time answering with your words. Some of the simulation's neurodiverters haven't worn off yet. In the meantime, you can nod your head up and down for yes and shake it side to side for no. Why don't you try now? Hey, hey, you're a natural. Now, before we begin, I want to tell you, the answers you give me to each question have a hand in determining the questions that I'm going to ask you after that. So please do answer honestly. The first question I have for you is, do you believe that you've just left a simulation? It typically takes a while for most people to process what they've just been through, so that's pretty normal. Does it feel like you're in one now? So you find the other reality to be more compelling. All right, why? What's wrong with this one? Is it lacking in visual detail? Okay, well, for starters, your eyes are just coming off a long stint of very, very close screen time. So it's possible that your vision just isn't quite up to snuff right now. It should be better in a few hours. In light of what I've said, do you still believe that you're in a simulation? Well, given the previous skepticism you showed towards whether or not this reality is the true one, I'll be very curious to know what your answer to this next question is. If you found out your reality was simulated, do you think you'd still have an obligation to uphold morality? That is, presuming you think we have an obligation to uphold it in the first place. If you carried out a simulation of an immoral act in virtual reality, would you consider yourself guilty of something? Do you think simulated people, that is, completely computer-generated people, are worthy of moral consideration? Is that because you think that virtual persons are, in some capacity, real persons? Interesting. Interesting. Presuming they were sufficiently advanced, I think I would agree with you. Alright, well, we can wrap things up now. Or, if you'd like, I can ask you a few more questions to help us develop our products in the future. Would you like to answer some additional questions? Then I'll be on my way. Don't forget to check the cabinet to the right of the door for anything you may have left, and the uh, neurodiverters should wear off shortly, so enjoy the rest of your day. It was nice to meet you. <laughs>